things myself. Hey, man, not a minute too early. The guys up there have already seen me. If we're unlucky, they will have reported me, and we'll have the bounty hunters after us. You mean you will have bounty hunters after you? Ah, come on. Don't fool around. Those guys don't take prisoners. What are you planning now? There is a guy called Wyatt I need to find. That ass bag is the one distributing the contracts on me up there in the fort. I want to find out who paid him. I want you there with me in the background. I have a better idea. I speak with Wyatt, and you stay in the background. All right. Okay, that will work. Let's go. Now? Let's not fight. We have to do it quickly. I can feel a target on my back even now. If those guys recognize me, we may have trouble, so be careful. Okay, but be careful. Yeah, what do you want? What do you know about a contract taken out on an outlaw called Ray? Who did you say? Ray, from Tavar. Ah, that guy. Are you here to collect or just get information on the reward? Just tell me what you know. That is charming. And is there a part where you tell me what that has to do with me? They say you are distributing these contracts and that there's quite a high sum set out on his head. Hey, don't fool around. Mm, you don't look like you're joking around, huh? <laughs> Is that bum even paying you anything to come here and make a fool of yourself? But good. I don't want any trouble with you. Say what you want and just get out, okay? Who told you to distribute these? <laughs> you mean I should tell you the name of a person who takes out contracts on someone who upsets them? Can you see why I might say no to that? How many of these contracts do you have left? Just one more. Give it to me. You know, me giving you this is useless. The other contracts are already out there. You want me to hurt you, and then you give me the contract? All right, all right. Take it. For all the good it'll do you. Tell us who has the rest of these contracts. Oh, enough. They've been going faster than the offer of free beer. What would happen if I took care of Ray right now? Would I get the reward? Hey, man, don't fool around, okay? The contract outlines how the kill is supposed to play out. But I can't go suggesting you murder someone here in the fort. <laughs> Not officially. That could cause me business problems. What you do in your own time is up to you. And I will get out of here if that's okay. So have a good one. Hmm. A contract. Not wanted alive. Wanted dead. Ray's contract is signed by W. W as in Wyatt. Do you really think that's a coincidence? Man, no wonder you're with Ray. The two of you make a proper pair. Why should I talk to either of you? Are you still trying to tell me you don't know who is trying to kill you? What? Yeah. Honestly, I really don't know. Why would I go chasing Wyatt otherwise? The contract taken out on you says to contact W for payment. W? That could be Wyatt, but... No! 
If Wyatt got the job to put this hit out there, then I know who gave him the contract. Wyatt and I were on the same crew at one time. We were part of Jackson's gang. They were bad times, and the earnings were slim. In the end, I left the group just before they all drifted away looking for better earnings. Wyatt must still be in contact with those guys. If you knew all of this before, then why did you drag me here? I didn't know for sure. Still don't. And coming here to find out might have got me killed over the wrong idea. So, how do you think this will play out now? Listen, I know I owe you. And I know I will only survive this with solid company. So I am going to stick with you until my debt over the armor is paid off, okay? I'll help you. I'll fight alongside you. In return, you help me find Jackson's old boys and collect all the copies of this contract. You stole my armor and left me for dead. You already owe me. I know, I know. And I will pay you double what they're worth in return, as well as helping you. What do you say? I guess it's the best deal I will get from you. Wow, that even sounds like optimism. And that from an ice block. It seems my brother was right. You really are normal people behind your frozen facade. Okay then, tell me where I should go and I am there. I have a camp. Yeah, yeah, I already know where you stole your things. You were watching me? Hey, I sort of gathered you might be pissed at me. I, I thought knowing where you were might stop you doing something you regret. I know I'll regret this. Welcome to the Mana Shrine. Have you been sent here with a task? Or are you here in search of a healer? Speak now. Or have you taken a vow of silence? It sounds like you're doing good work. Saving our world. The only work that matters. This is the Mana Shrine, where Elix is turned from poison to nectar. One day, all Elix will come here and Magomed will be free from its influence. Until then, we must contend with the danger here. The power released from Elix can make the shrine a hazardous place. Please, be careful here. The power of Elix. Tell me, who are you? You've not said what you're doing here. Something brought you here, didn't it? You were drawn to this place. I was an alb, but I'm free from Elix now. Then you are an alb no more. It is Elix that turns a man into an alb. Without that poison, you are free to make your own choices. You have told me who you were. Now you, now we, will find out who you are. Please understand, whatever feelings are new to you, every person faces that same struggle. It is the struggle Magellan suffers from, too. She is dosed with Elix. She has it in her veins as you did. But Magellan does not suffer from temptation. You must feel the lure of Elix to your bones. The power it offers. Resist it. One sign of you giving in to the temptation of Elix, and I will be forced to report you. If this world gives in to Elix, it will consume us all. You're comfortable with an alb living in Goliath? An alb is a man who has become a slave to Elix. It seems to me that you have freed yourself. That makes you a rare individual. Still, 
You are wise to be wary. There are those here who would kill you if they learn your background. But though it is not one of our written laws, it is central to our beliefs and to me that we should give all those who want it a second chance. If you are prepared to leave your past behind, you should be given a chance. Are you willing to do this? What are the laws? The laws were laid down by Amrak when he founded the Berserkers. But what matters is the spirit of the law. Protect Magellan. That is what Amrak truly intended when he founded the Berserkers. Whatever words and interpretations have been added to Amrak's words, it is Magellan's future that counts above all. What do you do here? other than give free advice. As Amrik said, our hope for Magellan is that all Elix shall become Mana, that from Mana Magellan will be reborn. From Wasteland shall spring forest, for we are the healers of the world. So the workers bring the Elix to us and we transmute it at the Mana Shrine. Well, that is supposed to be what happens, but people don't seem able to stick to their tasks. You say people aren't doing their tasks. Yes, the biggest problem we have is temptation. Elix corrupts people as it does the planet. Last week, five large pieces of Elix disappeared from the shrine before it could be transmuted. At the same time as Kral, one of our guards. So Kral stole the Elix? I think Kral is the thief, but thinking is uncertainty. The searches for him and the Elix have come up empty, and I have no idea why he would take the Elix. I can find Kral for you, for a price. Honest labor deserves reward. I can put in a good word for you with the warlords. Then, if you decide to join us, that will open the way for you. If it is shards that would help motivate you, then I can offer you payment. I know we all need to pay our way in the world. So, will you help me? Fine. I will find the Elix Thief. Good. I appreciate your help. As a guard in the Hooded Crows, Kral has free access to all areas here in Goliath. So, he may have taken refuge in Ragnar's stronghold, or he may have strayed further, if indeed he is the thief, and that is yet to be proven.
Paul's diary. No sign of the man. But let's see if he has left me a clue in here. Last entry. First the Elix devours him. Now it devours me. But I have no choice. Surely to steal is better than to kill. If I don't act now, then death must follow. So, the choice is made, and we must both go into the mausoleum. Perhaps we can live in this house of the dead. <laughs> Either this guy is reliving teenage poetry, or I just found out where he went. I should tell Caldrum. found Kral's diary. Where did you find it? And does it tell you anything useful? By the balcony of Ragnar's stronghold. Kral wrote about a mausoleum outside of Goliad. Maybe he went there. Then he has picked the perfect place to hide. I don't know anyone who would go willing into that mausoleum to search for him. It is a place for the dead. I'll go. If you tell me where it is. Very well. You will find the mausoleum in the area outside Goliath that is down below the pit, south, southeast towards the world heart. Tread carefully, though. People are telling stories of some sort of undead creature there. Not that I believe in such things myself. There must have been a lot of civilians living here once.
be dangerous. Get this one. What are you doing here? You sh you should go. This place is dangerous. You you should move on. You're Krell, the guard from the Mana Shrine, right? Yeah. You've come looking for me then, huh? And you came running, did you? If that's what you want, then let's get this started. Stop. A job? Is that what I am? You won't prove it to me. <laughs>
No, I'm not good enough for that. Found Kral. I have recovered the Elix. And Kral is not here? Is he dead? Correct. That is sad news. I feared his departure spelled his guilt. It seems justice has been done. Did Kral tell you why he took the Elix? No. That is a shame. But the main thing is he won't be seen here again. What do you do with the mana? Our mana is everything. It is life itself. It is mana that allows us to do magic. No other faction of the free people can do that. The mana potions we make give us that ability. It makes our warriors stronger, more powerful than any of the Alms machines. But it doesn't just make us strong. It also makes the world blossom. Look around. All of this is the work of our world hearts. I've heard enough. Very well. <laughs> 